so welcome to Elite Dangerous and this is a quick um, getting started video. I have played this for a while and I was really confused about it so I'll show you how to get started in here. Uh, I would recommend going in solo or private group even though in open play it's um, difficult to you know meet people but I'll do uh, my private group for now. So the first thing in the game you are put in the hangar and this is actually your ship, this is not the menu, so this is what was confusing to me. You don't move with your mouse because the mouse controls your ship and you are actually in the ship, so... You control the menus with your uh, WASD buttons and space is the enter, so for example uh, starboard services. Uh, you don't start out in the same place, you're gonna start out somewhere else, so... Here you can refuel, reload the guns. You don't uh, start out with a Cobra, you start out with a uh, Sidewinder, I believe. You can get the missions from the bulletin board, whatever you like to do. And basically, so uh, let's get started with this thing. So, uh, buttons number one is your navigation menu. And to navigate between them is Q and E to go left and right like this. So menu number two is um, your friends list or whatever you want it want to call it. You can enable and disable the voices and stuff like this. Get into the wing. Wing is like the group thing. Number three is uh, this menu. It's not useful really. You can access it anyway. And number four is where we can set the uh, set like the fire groups. For example, the right mouse button is the scanners, and left one is uh, shooting. I can also map them on other fire group, then you have to press N to change the fire group, so. And cargo, I have no cargo right now. Functions, here you can change all this kind of stuff. Uh, Pre-flight checks, I'm gonna actually put it on so I can show you what it uh, looks like, so. Press 4 again to get rid of the menu. Middle mouse button is free look. You can also look on the menus. If you have like track IR or something like this, then you can just look around freely in the cockpit. But anyway, if I should go uh, return to surface or uh, launch, then it should show me the pre-check. Let's go to surface first. Right, and I'm gonna check again that the uh, brief flight checks are on, so if I'm gonna hit launch it should check. Yes, there we go. Uh, this is like to show you the controls, so we go like show left, show right, uh, thrust right, thrust left, thrust down, thrust up. I'm just showing you the buttons, these are like the default controls. Uh, I can't throttle down, what the hell? Uh, there we go. Uh, landing gear, gear test. Uh, weapon deploy test. Uh, target ahead. Primary fire. And there we go. So. Ship released. Engines engaged. So R to lift off. Press L. Landing gear retracted. To retract the landing gear and we are off. See? And insert is lights on and lights off. I don't have the debug, I mean I have it, but debug menu, not the menu, debug camera. You can enable it from the menus, then you can just uh, look around your ship. It does not pause the gameplay, which means if you're in a combat or something, then you don't want to really do that, see? Just showing you. So anyway, once you're taken off from the station, I'll also show you the landing in a few seconds, well not a few seconds, but the next thing you need to know is the systems, which is uh, on there, see, engine system, weapons, uh, arrow keys, change all that, if you have more in the engines, you go faster, systems, recharges the shield, stuff like this, and if you're in a fight, then you want to add it all in the weapons and systems that's that's my recommended and if you press down it resets everything so 
I usually keep it in systems and weapons, I mean systems and engines, so... And tap key is boost. So anyway, I'll show you how to navigate, so... X button also drops the frost to zero and uh, stops all movement. And the radar is your best friend in here. Like these things. And what is that? Uh, yeah, that's somebody's... Um, energy in there. Anyway, we press number one key and if you want to jump somewhere galaxy map press space go in here. This is absolutely massive. Just look how big this is. See? I am just on that edge in there and if you're actually wondering how big this is I'll show you how big this actually is. And now I kind of lost it so I have to exit and go back in there just look how small area this is. It takes you like, I don't know, it takes you a few hours to even fly from here to here. So look at, look at the size of this, see? It's massive, trust me, it is massive. So anyway, to go into like, um, uh, for example, where we want to go, Osaka maybe. You click on it and then uh, you want to click select. If you don't have enough fuel to jump, which you can't really do uh, long jumps with a basic ship that you get, then you can just plot route and jump. Once done, get out of there. And now on this small thing, see, that uh, crosshair thing, you want to turn it so this is in your crosshairs. Uh, the default key is J, I believe. I'll, I'll test that. Yes. Frameshift drive charging. So you do that, press J. I have it on mouse, it's really useful to have it on mouse. Throttle up, let it charge, and once it's charged, it's gonna make the jump. Four, three, two, one, engage. Right, and Sun, you want to stay away from that, but also I will show you how to fuel scoop, actually. Fuel scooping. See, basically what you do, you want to circle around and keep the um, speed as low as possible, actually. And make sure you don't overheat, so... You can just hover over it. If you decrease the speed, then you just hover over it. See, that's the best way to fuel scoop. But you need to purchase the fuel scoop. You don't have it by default, so... This is unexplored, actually this is how you can explore things. It just turned towards that and it should start exploring even though it doesn't on some reason. I think it's on the other side of the sun, I don't know. But the fuel is on my right side, it's almost full so. Fuel scooping complete. See there we go, it's completed. So fly away from the sun a little bit, don't take too much heat damage. Just going upwards. I want to actually scan this planet, but I'm too close to it. Uh, scanning, uh, it's basic discovery scanner, so... Let's see, where is it? Where is the sun? Hey, it doesn't scan on some reason, I don't know why. Oh, there we go, you need to target it. Sorry, I didn't have it targeted, see? That's how you can scan, and you can later sell the scan data for good money, so you can be an explorer. There we go. Right, so, super cruise up. I'm in the super cruise right now, that's what it's called. So, away from the sun. And if you want to dock somewhere, press number one key again. And then just um, find whatever you want, for example... Resnick Orbital. I think I was there before. Oh no, oh no. Too close to the sun. Away from it. There we go. Uh, number one again. <coughs> if I turn the mouse right now, then the ship still turns. So I'm going to go into the carrier station instead. So you press space, lock destination. And then on that uh, left from minimap, you just put it into your crosshair and just keep flying. It's quite far away. So I'll show you how to talk with the ship. That's the basics you need to know actually in here, so that's exactly what I'm going to show you in here. 
So see on the right side the speed. You want to keep your eye on it. You don't want to go too fast because then you overshoot. And that's not good. So basically you just have to wait. And also you can um, map the... Map the free... What is it called? Uh, I don't remember the control for it. It's the advanced... Um, advance some controls off and on it's very useful if you wanna like fly backwards I can't do it in here I can only do it once I go out of the super cruise the super cruise is like light speed cruise as you can see and yeah the speed you want to keep it like I can't really tell you how but you have to just learn to see it see I'm going too fast right now have to slow down I can just see it by by just you know by practicing and if you overshoot then you have to just turn around no oh, lag spike there are these stars that's bright that's really bright in there this should be about the right speed see that blue bar on the speed bar if you keep it uh, middle or below then that should be good and these uh, unidentified signal sources they could be like anything they can be some uh, wanted uh, fugitives, they can be just some collectibles, it can be anything really. And also if you have it targeted at the um, station then your speed adjusts to it but you still have to slow down a little bit so. And once you are in the safe disengage distance then you have to manually disengage. I will show you how it's done exactly. So we slow down a little bit more. It's when it's under one LS, then then you can um, do it. Also on the left side, if you look uh, if you look at the alignment, distance, and speed. Whoa! <laughs> alignment, distance, and speed is what you want to keep your eye on. Two of them going in there. Alright, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Don't spaz out on me. Oh shit, I'm gonna overshoot the thing. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And now, disengage. I think I got it. I didn't overshoot, I didn't. There we go, see? Once you're like uh, 1000 kilometers away, then you want to disengage. And now, to request talking, which is another vital thing you need to know. You press uh, number one key, then go into contacts by pressing E, then press space and request docking. Docking request granted. You have to be like uh, 7.5 kilometers away, otherwise they cannot deny it. So, just telling you. Then look where the landing pad number one is. It's highlighted, which I can't see right now. And don't go too fast and crash into the station. I think it's on the other side, like there. Yeah, I see it. See, it's there. Whoops. So we go upwards. Yeah, there's the landing pad number one. If you're not comfortable with landing, just go slow. You don't have to rush. You have 10 minutes to land, so. And the landing, you have to be right way. So we just go in here. Put the landing gear out. And see that's where the ship alignment has to be. Look in the look in the center. Oh shit. That was a little bit too fast. See the map turned into the landing thing, so that's how you have to land. You have to put it exactly in the middle. So don't even look visually, just look at the ship's alignment, so. And you have to be turned, like I'm turning. And then with F you can slowly go down, so. With Q and E you can rotate your ship. I mean not rotate, but uh, strafe left and right. Once you're on the landing pad, you don't have to be exactly in the middle, just in the middle circle, but I'll put it exactly in the middle. And then once you're done with it, just go with F. Not too fast, just click it just gently. And there you go. Engines disengaged. And then you can enter the hangar. 
So these are like the basic uh, flight things that you need to know in this game because it was really confusing to me how to actually take off and how to fly. But once you get to know to it, uh, then it's pretty easy actually. And the best way to make money in this game is actually bounties. Well, you can trade actually. But I will show you the starboard services. I don't know if I can actually sell any data. You go into this uh, universal character graphics. Let's see if I can sell any data. See, that's discovery data I have, see? I can sell this an entire page, confirm. The reason why I can't sell these is because I'm too close. I think you have to be 20 light years out from the place you scanned and then you can sell it. So, as you can see, you can make pretty good data. And I'm only 5.6 light years away, so I can't sell it. So it's pretty decent, actually, the Pink Explorer. Uh, outfitting, you can buy guns in here and stuff. Let's see if I can buy a better uh, power plant. Uh, it costs too much for now. Just uh, one megawatt more. Nah, not, not good enough. And this is where you can buy the fuel scoop. So, and everything else you need. Liveries, I think liveries are just paid. I'm not entirely sure. And we also have contacts. Uh, I don't have any any bounties. Oh, I do. See, I can sell the bounties. There we go. Made just 46,000. Do I have anything else? Nope. No criminal record. No bounties to sell. Nothing in here. And I think that's all you need to know. You can take some basic missions and I recommend always having some money, like at least 10,000, just in case. 10,000 is a lot actually in this game. Just in case that you can um, you can refuel and repair your ship, that's why you need it for, so. As you saw it's only 8 credits to refuel a little bit, so. I think full refuel is like, maybe like 200 or something, so. That's why I'm saying you need at least 10,000. And also once your ship blows up then you can buy it back for like a fraction of the price so it's like an insurance thing so you definitely want to keep some some kind of money don't waste it all so but i think all uh, that's all you need to know so um in next video i will show you some of the combat and just play around a little bit in multiplayer but this is just the getting started just to get you off the ground and get you going so i hope this helps and See you next time.